the prediction here is for uh, not just you know whether we will see a recession or not it really is about how long how deep it really is uh, projections here are for a shallower recession than than normal just just run me through the reasons and and kind of what brings that about yeah i mean first of all we think the energy crisis will push the euro area into recession yeah. we think it will weigh on production it is going to weigh on real incomes and therefore on consumers and that's why we've maintained the long-held view that we will see a recession over the winter months at the same time we think it's going to be a fairly shallow recession so the incoming data has been a little bit better recently We've seen some easing of the gas tensions, so I think it's less likely now that we run out of gas during the winter. And there's also been more fiscal support. And so when you take that together, recession is coming, we think, but it's going to be a more mild one than usual. Mm. But would the risks then be on, on the downside here, that things could actually escalate and be worse than, than we initially predict? Or is there some upside to, to some of this as well? I think near term there probably is still some upside because we yet have to see really that the hard data slows very sharply. We are seeing industrial production, retail sales are still growing. They've slowed but they're still growing. So I think near term I think there's a little bit of upside but at the same time I think we're not out of the woods when it comes to the energy situation. As I said it's looking better for now um, but it is still possible that with a cold winter with another spike in gas prices um, that this downturn is going to be sharper ultimately than we expect. So I think overall risks here still to the downside but I think the news flow has been uh, modestly encouraging Matt, in, in and recent weeks. With the PMIs this morning as well, coming in better than expectations, not only better than expectations, but also showing somewhat of an improvement from October too. Uh, I thought it was interesting yesterday the OECD released their economic outlook projections and they have Europe actually growing, Eurozone growing at 0.5% for next year. So it feels like there's so much dispersion amongst the analyst community about how Europe is going to perform, but that is because we don't have a lot of clarity about the energy situation or indeed the inflation situation. So. Let me just ask you on that last point. How are you, when do you think we're going to see a peak in, in European inflation numbers? Yeah, we think we're roughly at the peak now. Um, of course, there's still quite a bit of uncertainty given volatile wholesale prices, given government interventions and so on. But we think we're roughly around the peak um, at the moment, uh, around 11%. Um, and then we do think inflation through next year will slow. We mm -hmm. think uh, the energy contribution to inflation um, is going to dissipate as we go through 23. We think the pressures in the goods market for inflation are beginning to ease. And then the big question, I think, is around services, because we are seeing that wage growth has firmed in the euro area. So we do think services inflation is going to be somewhat more sticky, which is why we only have inflation going to 3% uh, at the end of 23. So we do think inflation will remain above 2% for some time, yeah. but come down from these very elevated levels. Yeah, that puts